Hello YouTube, welcome to my video on option spreads. This is the first of a few videos on spreads and on combination strategies in general for options. And so today we're going to learn a little bit about, uh, about option spreads and in particular we're going to look at a bull call spread. Now uh, through our prior videos on put call parity you'll be able to see that you can create these same payoffs using either puts or calls but um, I guess let me first introduce what a spread is. So an option spread is a basic building block of many options trading strategies. Um, a spread position is entered by buying and selling equal numbers of options of the same class on the same underlying security, but with different strike prices or expiration dates. If the spread is designed to profit from a rise in the price of the underlying security, we call it a bull spread. And we call it a bear spread if it's designed to profit from a fall in the price of the underlying. So that's two types of spread. So let's look firstly at a bull call spread. So up on your screen right now, uh, you'll be able to see the payoff diagram of being a long uh, bull call spread. Now, it, it probably looks a little bit complicated to you if it's your first look at this sort of thing. So let's talk a little bit about what we've got. What we've got here is we bought one call option and we bought this call option because we want to profit from a rise at the price of the underlying. So why have we sold our second call option? The reason is that maybe, that well, there's a few reasons you could want to sell one. Often it's just that you want to save a little bit of money. We'll say, for example, if the first call was expensive and you think, well, how can I make it a little bit cheaper? And the answer is to sell something else. And so maybe you think that the underlying is likely to rise, but we'll say if it's trading at $100 right now and you think, well, I think it's going to go up a lot, but, you know, maybe it'll go up to $150, but I think it's unlikely that it'll go up to $200. And if you buy a call option, you're obviously buying a payoff that, that uh, you know, it costs money to buy. Uh, because it has all of that potential upside in it. So if you said, well, it's not going to go above $150, I can buy the call with a strike price of 100 and sell the call with a strike price of 150 and I end up with a payoff that profits if it rises by anything between um, those two strike prices. So let's look at our diagram. We've got a strike. We've got a call option that we've bought with a strike of K1. And as you can see from the heavy black line, which is the payoff of the spread rather than the dashed lines, which are the payoff of the individual options, um, it starts to go up just like being long a call option with a strike of K1. And it continues on with that sort of payoff until we hit strike K2. And at K2, at our second strike, the strike that we've sold, what happens is that any incremental gain that we're making in our call option with a strike of K1 is being given up. We're losing that in the second call option that we've sold with the striker price of K2. So really what we've got here is a payoff that's a lot like a call option, but once it hits the second strike, we're no longer gaining. Now we're not losing, we're just not making money anymore. So our call spread here, our bull call spread that we've bought, as you can see, it costs a little bit less. The premium that we've paid is less than the premium that we would have had to pay if we had bought just the call option with the strike of K1. And thus we get to our break even point quicker as well, which is kind of nice. Um, once, uh, once it starts making money, we're doing well until it hits K2 and then we're not making any more money. So what's the most money we can make? Well, obviously, if it goes up a lot, we reach our, our maximum profit. But um, once it really goes up above K2, while we're maybe more secure in our profit, we're not actually making more. So the most we can make is the difference between those two strike prices. So when we had talked about potential numbers, we had said uh, if the underlying is at 100 and we bought a 100 call and we sold a 150 call. So the most we can make is the difference between those strikes, which is 150 less 100 is $50 less, of course, the amount of money we spent on premium. So let's pretend we spent 
$10 on premium, for example, the most we can make is $40. And what's the most we can lose? The most we can lose is $10, the amount that we spent on premium. So that is the payoff of our bull spread of being long that bull spread. Now, for everyone who buys these options or who bought one and sold one, someone else maybe uh, took the opposite position. So maybe someone sold that call spread to us. And so they would have a position that we would call a bear call spread. Um, and what is their payoff? Well, their payoff is the exact opposite of our payoff. So the most that they're able to make is if they receive the premiums, which in my last example, I said was, we'll say $10. And the most that they can lose is the difference between the strike prices less the amount of premium they received. So that was in our example, $40. So they have the exact opposite payoff to what we have with our bull call spread. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, if you'd like to learn more about this, you can watch my other videos. And equally, if you want to follow along in the book, uh, the book is called Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives. And there's an Amazon link to that in the description below. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. Watch my next video uh, that I'm about to shoot in just a minute. It'll be on bear spreads using puts. Talk to you later. Bye.